In this video, we're going to be doing a full walkthrough with Get Response. So this is going to be integrating Get Response. We are going to create lists within Get Response to act as targets for the emails we collect within Convertory, and finally setting up a page form with Get Response. So you start to finish, you have a working form with Get Response. So to get started, we need to get integrated by going to the account dashboard and clicking on integrations from the left hand toolbar. Select get response and set up and then select connect your account. So I've had this screen because I have get response open in another tab. If you don't have get response open in another tab, either open it and log in or you will be prompted here to log in and then you'll be brought to this screen who wants to access your account, we want Convertry to be able to access, so click yes. You'll be taken back to Convertry and you will see we have a green successful message here, a green successful message here, and a green tick. So we know we're successfully integrated with Get Response. See the green tick here still as well. So like I said, we'd recommend opening Get Response in another tab. If you haven't already, you need to now, and logging in. You'll be greeted with your dashboard. It looks different depending on whether you're you know, paid or unpaid, but the basics of this will be the same. And at the top, we can see lists. So go to this top toolbar and select lists. So this is the current list that I have that was made when I created the account and it's gonna act as the target for the form that I will create in a second. But if I wanted to create a different list, I could click here and create different lists. Obviously naming them relevant, something relevant to the page they'll be on helps you with clarity and not getting too messed up. So for instance, you can integrate GetResponse, one whole account, but you might have lots of different pages which all sell different things. They're different subscribers lists. They're marketed at different people and you want those people to receive different content and you want to be able to segment them. So this is why our lists come in. So you can select a different list for each page and that will be where the emails go so they are all separated. So this means that if you have a page about cats and a page about dogs you can have separate links and the people who register an interest will be put into different lists and so they won't all be jumbled together and you'll be able to target advertise and get the most out of the people who sign up to your subscription list basically. So once you're happy that you have a list that is relevant and you understand where your contacts are going to be going Go back to Convertry and open up the funnel and page which you wish to add a form to. So you might notice that I am going to be using a template. Um, it's just to demonstrate what a working page would look like. But if you just wanted to create from scratch and you didn't want any of the extras, the best thing to do would be just to add an email box to the page and a submit button. So these are in the form elements tray found here. You'll be able to see email and also submit button and I also have a first name box just to gather that extra information but you can personalize these just with the text input and then say later on you know what information is being gathered so once you've got the relevant boxes the information that you want to send on to get response click on forms on the top hand toolbar go to autoresponders and click get response so this is the list that popped up earlier, my default list, but if I had one called cats and dogs, that's also where they'd pop up would be here. So select which campaign you would like to add your emails to, where you want them to be within your account. So we'll see here that we have fixed fields and just fields. So the fixed fields, for instance, are email and name, which is what I have on my page. This means that they already understand that the email box is an email. And the name box is a name but they don't understand what some of these fields are so you would need to select them from the drop down there is all the different things so city you would allocate to city all those different things postal codes you know they might have to put, might come up as a zip code it just needs to be allocated so that your form fields are configured properly so that all the information is correctly labeled in both convertory and get response understand what the information is that's been given to them. So once you're ha happy that you've got your form field set up, click done. If you haven't already on the page, you'll be taken to a thank you page option, which will look like this. I have already one set up, which is why it went straight away. 
But if you haven't already set one up, you'll be greeted with this. You'll get the option to either, when the form submits, you can just stay on the page, there's no need to redirect, or you might want to create a thank you page to thank your subscribers for signing up or giving their information. So this is the URL I have of just a very basic thank you page that my users will be taken to. And you can decide whether the form data needs to be submitted to this thank you page or not. So then you will click done. And you'll see this little red tick has appeared, which shows that we are all set up on our page. So our form is up and working. And from here, you would be able to publish and see your page live. And if you wanted to, you could test it. And then you would be able to see the email that you put into test come up also within get response, which register that someone had added to this list. And so that's how you get all set up with get response.